when Ishan was very young, I wanted him to learn martial art. And I recommend martial art. Actually, not this martial art where they say Fu Fa and yellow belt, green belt, so many colorful uh, rainbow they give. What is in our understanding of our ancient people, this is a dynamic meditation. This is a dynamic meditation where when we are moving our hands, we are feeling the cosmic energy. We are feeling the cosmic energy. And then, when we are doing that, we bring in so much cosmic energy within us that this cosmic energy strengthens our muscles. And these muscles, they look so flexible, but they become as strong as steel. This is what I learned from the yogi, 100-year-old yogi, who could lift the weight which a uh, very strong weight lifter with a strong body could not even lift half of it. So it is that that's what he said. He is lifting the body with his muscles. I am lifting these weights with the prana, with the cosmic energy. And that is how I learned from him in the younger age. What is that cosmic energy and how to build in the cosmic energy. And uh, that is a meditation. That is a meditation and I wanted him to learn that. So there was um, our Shiva Yogi Satak. So he had a very big in Mumbai, the martial arts. So I introduced, I said, go and uh, do in Karjat and start a camp. So he brought a girl. He said, she is a uh, black belt. A very young girl from Macau. Probably I thought might be in the school or college. I said, I appreciate your black belt. And uh, she was given the responsibility to teach. He was a young boy at that time. So I appreciated her movements were very, very soft like the feather. And uh, you know, uh, uh, when, when she gave her introduction, she was 52 year old. Long, long telomere. <laughs> so, it is that cosmic energy. So, that martial art, it was a part of the Shiva Yogis. It comes from the uh, Parshuram lineage. It is from the Parshuram lineage. He was the great warrior. And uh, from South India, when the uh, saints, they used to go to China, they used to cross over the China wall and the decoits and all those, they will attack. And the yogis, they are not supposed to keep the weapons. We are born to save life. We are not born to destroy lives. We are born to heal people. We are not born to damage people. And for us, there is no categorization of a human being that this is enemy or this is friend. Everyone is the ray of Shiva. So anybody who comes, we will give healing, but we cannot. So then they said that we will have to save ourselves. So it was in South India, this art of, because when we bring in, more of life force energy within us. So the body becomes strong.